that's not who I was before and it certainly isn't who I am now. And if I could take it all back, I obviously would take it all back. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're examining our picks for infamous moments when rude and entitled folks' apologies only made things worse. Insincerity or variations on I'm sorry if you're offended, don't hack it, Karen. I just wanted to say that I am sorry from the bottom of my heart. Using all the slurs. Starting out on YouTube and then TikTok in 2019, Isabella Avila, under the name Only J Us, became very popular with psychology videos touching on subjects like lucid dreams. If somebody's feet are pointed towards you in a conversation, that means that they're interested and content in the conversation. But in 2021, leaked messages from Avila came out that contained racist and homophobic slurs, followed by accusations that Avila ghosted black creators. Some 450,000 people signed a petition to have Avila removed from TikTok. Avila responded with an apology video, which was criticized for being scripted and disingenuous. In it, Avila promised to promote black creators. When I first saw the screenshots, I didn't even think that they were real because I forgot how hateful and how angry of a person I used to be, and it hurts my soul. However, a couple of months later, TikTokers like Aunt Karen Zero claimed Avila didn't stick to the promise and ghosted her. How many times do you expect me to message you waiting on you to continuously ghost me? Robin. You gotta love it when an apology comes with a bad excuse for their terrible behavior. In 2020, hairstylist Sharon Spellman was about to pass her client Robin onto her assistant Alex for the next phase in her hair treatments. You wanna leave? I will if you don't do my hair. Well, Robin, who had previously made disrespectful comments about Hispanic people, didn't want Alex, who is Hispanic. Spellman tried to reason with her client, but Robin got angry and tried to hit the hairdresser. Robin, get out and do not cause a scene in my business. Immediately, Spellman told her to leave. Robin offered a lame apology, claiming she has a lot of stress and a lot of pressure from her daughter, as if that justifies hitting people. And make it like a lot of pressure I'm, from my daughter. You know, I have a lot of pressure too. Robin, we all have pressure. Of course, this didn't work and Robin was removed, disrespecting the lost. Given the often terrible history between the British and the Irish, anyone filling the UK government position of Secretary of State for Northern Ireland needs both sensitivity and a thorough grasp of the facts. Instead, Theresa May appointed Karen Bradley. In 2019, when discussing the Troubles, a decades-long conflict in Ireland, she stated that slayings made by the police and British Army at the time weren't crimes. They were people acting under orders and under instruction and, and fulfilling their duties in a dignified and appropriate way. People in Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland were livid at the comments. While Bradley apologized on TV, relatives of those who lost their lives stated it was too little, too late. So I said something wrong and I have apologized and now I want to get on and deliver. There were also calls for her to resign. While Bradley didn't, she lost her job during a reshuffle shortly after. I said something I shouldn't have said. I fully accept that I shouldn't have said it. It was wrong and I've apologized. Yeah, and you've said that and you've made that very clear. Not gleeful. There were days when the sun was so cool. It all started with a 2020 social media post supporting hashtag Black Lives Matter by actor and singer Leah Michelle. This sparked her Glee co-star, Samantha Marie Ware, to accuse her of terrible behavior on the set of the TV show, including racism. Other former colleagues, such as Heather Morris and Alex Newell, also came forward to criticize Michelle's hostile attitude. In response, she made a public apology on social media. However, Ware felt that it came across as an empty apology in which the actress didn't accept any responsibility. Even a year later, the Glee cast continued speaking about Michelle's toxic behavior on set. Fallen Footballer at one point, Mason Greenwood was seen as the potential leading light for Manchester United and the English football team. But then, in 2022, his partner released horrific evidence online of his abuse, including an incriminating voice recording. The police confirmed he was arrested and officers were seen at his home. 
While Greenwood was arrested, the case was later dropped as key witnesses withdrew and the prosecution didn't have strong enough evidence for conviction. In August 2023, after United and Greenwood agreed to part ways, in his statement, instead of apologizing, Greenwood tried gaslighting people by claiming he was cleared of all charges. I was cleared of all charges. However, I accept I made mistakes in my relationship and I take share of responsibility for the situations. That wasn't the case, and it angered people further. Since then, Greenwood has been loaned to Spanish side Getafe. Uh, Getafe have confirmed this evening it's a season-long loan. Real estate racism. In 2020, Sandeep Kumar and Ritu Devi Sharma left their property in Perth, Australia. Instead of getting their bond back, real estate company Marvin Real Estate took a portion of it for cleaning fees. This caused a dispute for several months between the parties. In 2021, the director of the company, Bronwyn Pollitt, sent a racist, passive-aggressive email to the pair in which he slated Indian culture and called the country filth. A few weeks later, Pollitt sent an apology email to Kumar and Sharma, stating the infamous non-apology phrase, I apologize if you believe I have been racist against you, and claiming it wasn't her intent. In 2023, Pollitt had her real estate license suspended by a tribunal for eight months. Ukulele Apology It's not every day that an apology for one terrible accusation opens up a can of worms for other grim incidents. But then again, not everyone is Colleen Ballinger. In 2023, after allegations of her being inappropriate with a young fan came out, the Miranda Sings performer released a bonkers apology video while she played the ukulele. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans. Unsurprisingly, the apology fell very, very flat as it was heavily condemned for being unserious. Soon after, historical clips of Ballinger's work resurfaced. In one, she did a distasteful racist parody of Psy's Gangnam Style, where she mumbles Asian words. In another, Ballinger, while cosplaying as Alphaba from Wicked, wore dark green face paint and performed Beyonce's Single Ladies on stage. Yikes. What do I know? Buzz Lightyear says a slur. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. It's weird how so many comedians who criticize political correctness in the medium seem determined to use slurs without repercussions. In a 2013 interview with the Tampa Bay Times, Tim Allen talked about how he's not racist, so it shouldn't matter if he uses one particular slur and that euphemisms for the word are worse. Allen then used said slur multiple times throughout. He claimed being called the word by black people, but not being allowed to say it later is confusing to the European mind. Yikes. When the backlash mounted, Allen put out a brief non-apology saying if anyone was offended, it wasn't his intention. Even years later, Allen's view and apology are still being denounced. This is a thought police thing, and I do not like it. Home Depot Karen. Most explanation videos after a controversial incident tend to delve into the reasoning behind their actions or an apology for what transpired. I just got kicked out of the Home Depot. The Home Depot. But not Amanda Marie Keschner, who goes by Art Van Groh online. In 2022, the self-described influencer told her story after a confrontation with Home Depot staff. In her video, she freely divulges that she used racial and homophobic slurs at staff, telling them to go back to their own country before they kicked her out of the store. I said, I'm not leaving. Call the cops. I've done nothing wrong. I'm trying to buy something. And he's like, I'm not discounting anything. I'm not selling you anything. Get out of my store. When the backlash rolled in for Keshner, she attacked the criticism. She released several videos, often giving sarcastic apologies and being aggressive with those who were offended by her actions. It was bonkers. And I really hope that one day you can find in your heart to forgive me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Pier 1 Coffer When the pandemic was frightening everyone, Karen stepped up to the play to make things worse. In 2020, at a Pier 1 store in Jacksonville, Florida, Deborah Hunter was verbally berating staff. 
When she saw she was being recorded by another customer, Heather Sprague, she flipped the bird and coughed in the face of Sprague, a cancer patient. I think I'll get real close to you and cough on you then. How's that? Hunter was arrested soon after. During her sentencing, she handed in a letter to the judge and gave a virtual testimony. In both, Hunter focused on how the situation had affected her and her family, barely apologizing to Sprague. For Miss Sprague, you know, she was the recipient of that. And for that, I apologize. And I believe that she knows that. After being heavily criticized by the judge for this, Hunter was sentenced to 30 days in jail, an anger management course, six months of probation, and fined $500. Judge Ruth sentenced Deborah Hunter to 30 days in the Duval County Jail and six months of probation. Have you ever had to apologize for something and it fell flat? Let us know below. I know, I should have. I'm sorry. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.